welcome back to Crafty Kids. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a easy paper black pink bookmark. So this is a very easy way of making a paper black pink bookmark and it's useful too. So many of you guys are big fans of black pink, so I thought of making this craft, which is really easy craft as well. So I've already posted a video in my channel about how to make a paper bookmark. So you guys can visit that video for more information. So this is also the same bookmark. You can just put it on the top of any book, but I just added like a small black pink figure inside on the top and uh, like some more decoration. So now without any further delay, let's get started and we'll be seeing how to make this really cute black pink bookmark. So it has many uses, so you can put this in journals, books, your diaries or anything. And you can even like hang it, if you do not want to use it as a bookmark, you can even hang it somewhere in your wall so you can even use it as a wall decor. So before we start, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet. Like, share and comment. Also press the bell icon so that you will receive a notification whenever I upload a new video. So now let's get started. So to be getting started, we're just going to be needing like a few simple materials. So which are a small square black piece of paper, a pink piece of paper. Then we'll be needing like a blue bottle, a scissor and we'll be needing three colors. So I'm just going to be taking dark pink, light pink and purple. And I'm also going to be taking a black pen for writing. So if you guys are going to be doing more decoration, you can use that. So as you guys see in this one, I just give like a whitener outline. And I just uh, drew a heart using a whitener. So this is not compulsory to do. So in this video, I'm not going to be showing you how to use this. Uh, because if you want to do more decoration, you can just use a whitener to decorate this. So to get started, I'm just going to be keeping everything aside. And I'm only going to be taking the black piece of paper. So the first step is that I'm just going to be folding this piece of paper in half. Now I'm going to be turning the piece of paper in this direction and I'm going to be folding it in half in this side as well. Next step is that I'm just going to be folding this piece of paper diagonally on one side and I'm going to be opening it and I'm going to be folding it diagonally on the opposite side. Now I'm just going to be folding it back diagonally like this and I'm going to be taking the top part and I'm going to be folding it to the bottom like this. So after we complete this, I'm going to take this, we'll have like a structure like this. Now I'm going to take these two bottom parts and I'm going to be folding it to the top tip. So I'm taking this one and I'm going to be folding it like this. Now I'm taking this part of the paper and I'm folding it to the top. So we'll have a structure like this. So the next step is that I'm just going to be opening this piece of paper like this. And I'm just going to be inserting this side over here slowly like in this way. So after we complete this, I'm just going to be opening this part over here as well. And I'm going to be repeating the same step and I'm going to be inserting it inside this piece of paper like this. So now the structure of the bookmark is ready. Now we'll move on to the main part which is black pink. So next step is that I'm just going to be taking the pink piece of paper we have and I'm going to be cutting a heart from it. So if you guys want, you could use a pencil and you could uh, just draw the heart and then you can cut it out. Since I'm good at cutting, I'm just going to be cutting it first, then I'm just going to be sticking it. So if you guys want, you can just take a pencil and you can draw it, and then you can cut it. So now I'm done completing, cut it. I'm done completing with the cutting. So now I'm just going to be trimming it at the top a little bit to make it perfect. Now we have a beautiful heart. So now I'm just going to be gluing it over here. So before we do, I'm just going to be trimming it a little bit more at the top to make it fit with the correct size of the bookmark. So now we can fit it over here like this so i'm just going to be taking the glue bottle now and i'm going to be applying some glue over here in this part so after we apply some glue i'm just going to be taking the heart that we have cut out and i'm going to be sticking it correctly like this so the, this is the back part of a bookmark and i'm going to be turning it and i'm going to be sticking this at the top like that so if you guys want you can trim the bookmark so for example you can just cut it at the edges like over here cut it at the top like this on all the sides that's not compulsory but if you were uh, hard does not look perfect you just trim it to make it look perfect so now we'll be starting off with the decoration so for that i'm just going to be taking the black pen that we had and i'm going to be writing black pink over here so first i'm just going to be putting a b like this now i'm going to be putting an l and for a i'm just going to be from the a but i'm not going to be putting the line over here and see in the opposite direction then K next I'm just going to be putting P and I'm going to be drawing an I without uh, putting the top two lines like this and now next I'm just going to be drawing the end and it should be like in the opposite direction so usually ends be like this like this one straight ends I'll just show you guys in a piece of paper 
usually ends be like this one over here but uh, we should draw an opposite direction so now i'm just going to be putting the line from the top part to the bottom and i'm putting the bottom line to the top like that so now i'm just going to be writing k so now i'm just completing writing black pink so now i'm just going to be taking the pink marker we have and i'm just going to be giving it an outline at the top part of the paper so i'm just going to be using it and i'm going to be coloring it on the top slowly like this so after we complete this, I'm just going to be closing the marker and I'm taking the black pen again and I'm going to be writing the four members of black pen on this part of the paper. So before that, I'm just going to be taking the purple marker that we had and I'm going to be drawing four hearts for writing the names. So first, I'm going to be drawing one heart like this over here. Next step is that I'm going to be drawing one more heart at the bottom like this. And I'm going to be drawing one heart on this side of the paper and one more at the bottom. So now we've completed drawing the hearts. So now I'm just going to be taking the black pink, uh, the black pen, and I'm writing the black pink members. So first one is Jenny. So I'm just going to be writing it at the first heart. So J E N N I E. And at the bottom of that, I'm just going to be writing Jiso. So please do this slowly because if you mess up, it won't look perfect. So after we complete this, I'm just going to be writing Lisa at the bottom. And I'm going to be writing Rose at the last part. Now we've completed writing the black pink numbers. So now I'm just going to be taking the dark pink marker we had and I'm just going to be doing a few more decorations. So the decoration is that I'm just going to be putting like four dots on each like person. So we like this. So it's just like coloring in inside. And now I'm just going to be putting all dots over here and covering this bookmark. But please do not write it on the top of the person because it won't look nice. So I'm just going to be doing like that. So after we complete this, we'll have a structure like this. And the top part, you can do any decoration. So you can do anything. So I'm just going to be like uh, drawing some cute hearts over here at the top. I'm going to be using a pink marker again. <clears throat> I'm going to be using a light pink marker and I'm drawing a heart. So we like this. And now I'm just going to take the purple marker we had. And I'm going to be giving an outline to the heart. So I'm not going to be giving an outline at the bottom, I'm just going to give it at the top since uh, if you color it in the bottom, the numbers will be colored in. But if you guys want to be colored in slowly like this, for example, I'll just try to show you guys a little bit. Yeah, so now we've completed it until the bottom and we'll have a structure like this. So the next step is that I'm just going to be taking the last step, which is I'm going to be taking the pink marker, the dark pink one. And I'm just going to be giving the hearts an uh, outline like this. And I'm just going to be putting a small, small heart in the middle over here. So that's it, we've completed it. If you guys want more decoration, you can use a whitener. Or if you do not have a whitener at home, you can even take a glue bottle and you can put small decoration. So for example, you can just put like dot over here, in the bottom and the top. It won't even, uh, you won't even feel the difference because uh, the whitener and the glue are almost same. But you should get it dry because if you just uh, squeeze it, then it won't look perfect. So as you can see, this one looks like a whitener over here. But do not spread it like this on the top or to mess up. So now our bookmark is ready. So you guys can put more decoration onto it and you it in any way you like. So you just use this and you can squeeze it on any top, top part of your book. And uh, you'll almost, we'll also be more interested in reading since it's your favorite black pink bookmark. You can do more decorations to this and decorate it in any way you like. And uh, you can even give it to your friends and family members or you can use it by yourself. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time on Crafty Kids. Thank you for watching. So before I conclude, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet. Like, share and comment. Also press the bell icon so that you receive a notification whenever I upload a video. So before I conclude, I want to tell you guys something. So as you guys see in this bookmark I made, I actually like wrote something wrong over here at the bottom. So I just took another hard piece of paper and I glued it over here. So as you guys see, it's like one paper at the bottom. So if you guys want to even do like this, and one more thing is that if you don't like uh, like to be completely completely stuck like this, you just take uh, yeah your hand and you can just like pull it a little bit outwards. So whenever you're reading, it will be like kind of floppy and outwards. So it will be like more 3D. It will give you like a 3D effect and it will be more interesting and cute. So that's all for today's video. And I'll see you guys next time on Crafty Kiss. Thank you for watching and please share this video with your friends and family members. And keep continuing to watch my channel for more interesting videos like this. If you have any ideas about what I should post in my channel, you can definitely comment in the comment box down below. And I'll uh, see to your ideas and I'll post that video as soon as I'm good at making it. And... If you have any doubts, you can ask that in the comments as well. I'll read the comments as soon as possible and reply to them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time on Crafty Kids. Bye!